Good morning. Um, so this is going to be a flip through of uh, the Tsunami Rose journal that I have listed on Etsy. Um, this is a combination of two kits through TsunamiRose.net. This project is for her design team and the projects that I used were um, charming fragments as well as a life subloom. There are different elements within this journal that are not Tsunami Rose because the kits that we used through um, Tsunami Rose were digital kits. Um, so here's the front cover. Uh, this is scrapbook paper and it is from Stamperia. This is, the tie is uh, 1 8 inch silk ribbon. And it is bound together with 100% uh, cotton thread. The front has a pocket with a card. The first page is a vellum decorated and reinforced page. So it has lace where you bound it in, or well, I bound it into the cover. There is another pocket with two more writing journal, or journaling cards, rather. There is a lot of writing space, more Tsunami Rose elements. The elements that I used throughout this journal are found in all of the pages, as well as all of the um, collaging, um, because if you watched any of the process of this video, or this journal, then you know how this was created. But this element right here is from a kit from Tsunami Rose. This element right here, same thing. This page, Tsunami Rose. Um, and like I said, there is a lot of writing space. A lot of writing space here. I love the sound of those papers. They're so cool. Um, you have some extra pages that are loose from an 1830s book from Switzerland. The writing is in German. There's some more page. Another card, journaling on the back. A lace pocket. A side pocket here for anything that you want to add. Some more writing space. Another pocket, more blank writing space, pretty pages, and a file folder in the middle, because why not? And this is the middle page, and you do have long dangle, or long thread here to add an extra dangle of your choice. And another one of the pages from the 1830s, and it is 1830, not 1930. It's an envelope pocket here, tag with a pocket, or a pocket with a tag is rather the right terminology for that. Another pocket with a couple journaling cards. These are collaged on the back. Another side pocket here. I used a combination of coffee dyed paper as well as avocado dyed paper. I printed all of the images from tsunamirose.net onto coffee dyed paper. Okay, here's the bottom. Tag with another lace pocket. Another belly band with another page from the 1830 book. Another fold out journaling spot. The folds on this particular coffee dyed paper has been reinforced as well as the center where it was bound into the journal. Another tag with a pocket. More journaling space. More journaling space. Another pocket. More journaling space. And the back of the vellum page, another pocket, another lace pocket with a card and journaling space on the back. And then the back. And that is that. 
So it has a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, thirty two pages, front and back. So that is 64 pages in this journal. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And like I said, this video is for the listing on Etsy. Uh, thank you so much for watching and you guys have a wonderful day. Bye.